Newton's life. Isaac Newton was born on January 4, 1643, in Woolsthorpe, Lincolnshire, England, into a farming family. His father died before he was born, and his premature birth led to doubts about his survival. Raised by his grandmother after his mother remarried, Newton's early life was marked by a sense of abandonment and solitude. His childhood was not particularly happy, and he found solace in reading and experimenting with various mechanical devices. Newton's inquisitive nature and aptitude for building simple machines were evident from a young age, indicating the remarkable intellect that would later revolutionize science. In 1661, Newton entered Trinity College, Cambridge, where he immersed himself in the study of mathematics, physics, and astronomy. His time at Cambridge was transformative, despite the plague interrupting his studies in 1665 and forcing him to return to Woolsthorpe. During this period, often referred to as his Annus Mirabilis or Year of Wonders, Newton made groundbreaking discoveries in calculus, optics, and the laws of motion and gravitation. It was here that the iconic story of the apple falling from a tree occurred, inspiring his thoughts on gravity, although the tale has been romanticized over time. Newton's innovative work laid the foundation for classical mechanics and changed the way humanity understood the universe. Returning to Cambridge in 1667, Newton was elected a fellow of Trinity College and later became the Luke Asian Professor of Mathematics. His tenure was marked by rigorous teaching and extensive research, leading to the publication of his seminal work, Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica, Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy, in 1687. The Principia, as it is commonly known, formulated the laws of motion and universal gravitation, unifying celestial and terrestrial mechanics under a single theoretical framework. This monumental work positioned Newton as one of the most influential scientists in history and solidified his legacy in the scientific community. Newton's contributions extended beyond mathematics and physics, he made significant strides in optics as well. He demonstrated that white light is composed of a spectrum of colors, which can be separated by a prism and recombined. His work in this field led to the development of the reflecting telescope, which used mirrors instead of lenses, to avoid chromatic aberration. Newton's insights into light and color were crucial in advancing the study of optics and deepening the understanding of the nature of light, further exemplifying his diverse scientific genius. Despite his towering intellect, Newton's personal life was marked by challenges and controversies. His temperament was known to be difficult, and he engaged in fierce disputes with contemporaries such as Robert Hooke and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz. The latter conflict, known as the calculus controversy, involved a bitter debate over the priority of the discovery of calculus. Newton's insistence on his intellectual rights and his combative nature sometimes overshadowed his scientific achievements. Nonetheless, his role as the president of the Royal Society and his later work in the British Mint highlighted his continued influence and commitment to public service. Newton's later years were spent in relative seclusion, focusing on theological studies and alchemy, which were less celebrated than his scientific endeavors. He passed away on March 31, 1727, leaving behind a legacy that transformed the scientific landscape. Newton's life story is a testament to the power of curiosity, perseverance, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. His work not only laid the groundwork for modern science, but also inspired countless generations to explore the mysteries of the natural world, proving that a single individual's dedication to understanding can indeed change the world.